Hey guys and gals, Barn Owl here with another video on our beginner's tips and tricks. So today what we're going to be discussing is which cargo ship is the best. So in order for us to do this, we're going to be a little scientific. It may not be the most scientific method, but we are going to have some fun doing it. We're going to have a race between all of these ships. And all these ships do have cargo on board. They all have wood on board. Tons and tons of wood. And they're going to race with the wind and against the wind. And we're going to find out which ship is the fastest and which ship is the slowest. Then we're going to send the ships across the world and see which ship arrives first. Then I'll give you guys my thoughts on everything. This is the most scientific way that I've figured out on doing this, so we're going to give it a shot. So let's select all of our ships here, we'll make sure they're all an individual. And then we're going to send them all on the other side of these airships down here. These will mark our finish line to start with. Alright, so we're going to send them out, and we will watch and see what happens. So we can see right now, the Clipper is in first place. The World Class Reefer is in second place. Cargo Ship is in a close third. Then you have the Schooner, the Great Eastern, the Gunboat, the Pirate Ship of the Line, our Frigate, the Argo Monitor Class Battleship, our Ship of the Line's back here, our Battle Cruiser, and our flak monitor. So notice the clipper is much, much faster than all these ships with the wind. So we'll speed this up. Now some of them are kind of going around some of these icebergs, but you know, this is the best that we could do. So we see the very first ship to cross the line is the clipper. It's gonna be a race to see who's gonna come in second place. And it looks like the world-class reefer is gonna come in second place. Followed by the Great Eastern, the Schooner, and then the regular cargo ship. The gunboat will be in 6th place. The frigate will be in 7th place. The pirate ship of the line will be in 8th in place. And we still have 4 more ships. And hopefully they get here before the winds change because I'm not going to wait for the winds to change again. Alright, so by speeding it up here we can see that the ship of the line is now finally crossing in ninth place, followed by the Monitor Class Pyphorian variant. Should eke out a win here. And then the Flak Monitor behind. And then we're waiting on the Battle Cruiser. Now you might be asking yourself, well, Barnell, why are you doing this with cargo on board? And that's because these are cargo ships, right? We want to figure out which ship is the best cargo ship that we have. So in last place is our Battle Cruiser, who is now crossing the line. So we did a quick shuffle. We're moving everybody so that way we can uh, kind of be in a line as we go against the wind now. Now the wind likes to change so I'm trying to rush through this. Alright, so our finish line here is going to be the other side of this iceberg. So 3, 2, 1. We're setting them off and we shall see which ship makes it first. So in the lead right now is our world class reefer just passing the cargo ship. The Great Eastern's right behind the cargo ship. And notice the steamships do the best against the wind like this. So we see that the World Class Reefer is in first, second, and third. And we can see that our other ships, like the Clipper, are way behind. Even behind the Battle Cruiser that was in last place in the first race here. So we're closing in on the iceberg. We can see that the World Class Reefer is now... About to cross the finish line. We'll say it's just the other side of this iceberg right here. Followed by the Great Eastern. Then followed by the cargo ship. So notice the reefer came in second on the first one with the wind. And came in first against the wind. So that's some foreshadowing for you. Let's see how these other ships end up. We can see it's probably going to be this monitor class battle cruiser or battleship, should I say? Followed by the flak monitor, followed by the battle cruiser, then the clipper, 
And then your guess is as good as mine. Which one of these ships is going to eke out a win back here? It looks like the Clipper might just be leading. Or the uh, frigate might just be leading, should I say? And the wind has now changed. So you can see the wind has now changed from, uh, from against the wind to now having a uh, quartering headwind. And you can see that changes a lot of stuff. So, but we can tell, though, that these ships are very slow. The sailing ships are very slow, except for the Clipper. When you're going against the wind. Okay, now let's try one last test. We're going to do a world traveling test. We're going to go from the Arctic to Inbessa, and we're going to see which ship arrives first. We have a lot of wood. We have a lot of wood to deliver. So let's see which one actually goes first. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow it down the slowest possible because we're on the edge here. And I want to send them all individually or else they'll all travel as a pack. So this is going to take, take some time, but we're going to try our best. And we'll head to Inbessa. We'll try to get down to Tabarim. There's one. Go to Inbessa. To Tabarim. It's all right that they're a little off here. That some are going before the others. It's not going to make that big of a difference. Okay, everybody's off. Going to Tabarim. And now we can watch on the world map. We'll see we have 13 ships here heading out. We can see that one ship is leading the way, and that is the World Class Reefer. In second place, we have the cargo ship and the Great Eastern. In third place, we have the Clipper. And then the rest of the pack is back in fourth place. Here's the schooner eking out ahead. The monitor class is ahead. But notice... The World Class Reefer is just commanding this lead. The Great Eastern's on the way. The cargo ship is on the way. This World Class Reefer will be entering in Bessa very soon. Uh, we can see our cargo boat has entered. The World Class Reefer is here. Let's take a look at the world map and see where everybody else is. So the next boat is going to be the Great Eastern, followed by the Skipjack, which is the cargo ship, then the Clipper, then the Schooner, then the Monitor, then the Flak Monitor, then the Battle Cruiser, and then the rest of our sailing ships are back in the back. So we can see here that our World Class Reefer has made it before any ship has even entered the region, it is now at the port, and we can take a look at the rest of the ships coming in. You can see that it's going to be the Great Eastern in second place, the cargo ship in third place, and then the Clipper in fourth place. And we can see not much difference between the Great Eastern and the cargo ship. Really, the, there's not any difference at all. Here comes the Clipper finally. And then the schooner should be right behind the Clipper, a little distance away. All right, so as all those ships come in here, let's kind of discuss what the World Class Reefer is. So in my opinion, guys, this is the best cargo ship that there is. It carries six cargo slots. It has one item socket as well. But what sets the World Class Reefer apart from the rest of the ships is that its open sea travel speed is 200%. No other sailing ship that you have has 200% open sea travel speed now how do you get the world class reefer you have to do all the quest lines for the docklands and then once you are finished escorting the great white shark or the great white whale you will be given access to the world class reefer in terms of costs between the world class reefer and let's say the great eastern you can see that the great eastern uh does cost more so it has 10 influence versus the six it takes 18 minutes versus the 14 minutes. Construction costs 39, 20, and uh, 30 and 17 for the Great Reefer. Now, a lot of people say the Great Eastern is better just because it has the extra cargo slots and the extra item slots. And maybe, maybe that's true. Um, I typically don't fill up my ships with the items. I just keep pumping out ships and, uh, and filling up the trade routes. Also, in order to get the Great Eastern, you have to learn it. It has to be a research institute item. 
So you can see here inside a research institute, you have to keep learning it in order to actually create the Great Eastern. So my humble opinion is that the reefer is much better. And we saw in the races that, you know, it came in second uh, the first time with the wind and it came in first the second time against the wind. And we also saw that it was twice as fast as any other ship at crossing the world. So when you're trading, what I would do typically is go with the Great Eastern for regional stuff and go for the world-class reefer for overseas. Or you can just stick to only world-class reefer and just make a bunch of them since they're kind of cheap. All right, guys and gals. So that was our video test on which cargo ship was the best. So like I said, uh, in summary, the Great Eastern is second best in my opinion and the world-class reefer is first place in my opinion. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Take care.